students i am manoj kundare the assistant professor of electronic science welcome back to our e learning platform in previous video we have seen the operation of bridge wave full rectifier the link of the previous video is available in the description box please check it now in this video we are going to see the rectifiers with the filter before going to see this point first of all let's summary summarize operation of half wave and full wave rectifiers here is the diagram for half wave rectifier is shown in which we can see that only one diode is used during the positive half cycle point a becomes positive point b becomes negative that means during the positive half cycle diode d is forward bias hence output appears across the load but during the negative half cycle point a becomes negative and point b becomes positive hence this diode is in reverse bias mode that means in off mode hence during negative half cycle there is no output appears across the load okay again when the positive half cycle appears this diode becomes forward bias and output appears across the load i hope you all understand the operation of half wave rectifier now let's see the operation of center tap full wave rectifier during positive half cycle point a becomes positive and point b becomes negative point a becomes positive hence d1 is forward biased at the same time d2 is reverse biased that means during the positive half cycle the current flows from diode d1 only and d2 is in off state that means during the positive half cycle the diode d1 conducts and output appears across the load during the negative half cycle point a becomes negative and point b becomes positive hence the diode d2 is in forward bias mode while diode d1 is in reverse bias mode hence diode d2 conducts only and current flows through the rl at the same time d1 is in off state hence during the negative half cycle only diode d2 conducts and output appears across the load again during the positive half cycle diode d1 becomes forward bias and output appears across the load i hope you all now understand the operation of center tap full wave rectifier now let's see the operation of full wave bridge rectifier during the positive half cycle point a becomes positive point a becomes positive and point b becomes negative that means during this positive half cycle point a becomes positive that means diode d1 and d3 becomes forward biased that means current flows from point a to d1 to rl to d3 and to point b okay at the same time d4 and d2 is reverse biased that means during the positive half cycle diode d1 and d3 conducts hence the output appears across the load but during negative half cycle point a becomes negative and point b becomes positive point b becomes positive hence only diode d2 and d4 is forward biased at the same time diode d1 and d3 is reverse biased hence current flows from point b to d2 load rl to r4 and then point a that means during negative half cycle the diode d2 and d4 conducts and hence output appears across the load okay i hope you all remember the operation of these rectifiers now let's see the concept here need of filters the rectifier converts ac into dc but the output of the rectifier is in pulsating dc form this is the pulsating dc form the output of the rectifier is not in pure dc form it contains ripple in it the ripple in the signal denotes the presence of some ac component a filter circuit is one which removes the ac component present in the rectified output and allows the dc component to reach the load to obtain the pure dc that means the output of the rectifier is in pulsated dc form that means it contains some dc as well as some ac components and the presence of ac components that means the presence of ripple in the output to remove these ripples we use the filter circuit to obtain the pure dc okay now there are various types of filters depending upon the components used first one is series inductor filter 
that means the inductor is connected with the series to the rectifier and to the load okay after connection of the inductor we get the rectified the pulsating dc and the smooth dc here similarly the next type is shunt capacitor filter here the shunt means parallel connection at this side the rectifier is present and this rl is present okay after connecting capacitor filter we get the smooth version of the rectified output or the pulsating dc the next type of filter is lc filter that means combination of l and c and the last one is clc or pi filter clc we get the more smooth output okay but in this video we are going to see only the rectifier with the capacitor filter okay first of all let's see the half wave rectifier with the capacitor filter this is the diagram is shown here and in this diagram we can see that this capacitor is connected parallelly remember that whenever we use a capacitor as a filter then we have to use in the parallel connection okay when ac voltage is applied during the positive half cycle the diode d is followed by s and allows electric current through it that means we know the operation of the half wave rectifier is that during the positive half cycle diode d1 becomes followed by s and we get the output okay that means we get the output but and the during negative half cycle the diode is in off state hence we does not get any output here okay hence in positive uh, half wave rectifier we get the output like this this is during positive half cycle this is during ne next positive half cycle next positive half cycle there is a gap between this okay a capacitor filter fills this gap and we get the smooth version of this waveform okay we know that the capacitor allows ac and blocks dc let's see let remember that the basic function of the capacitor is that it allows ac from it and it blocks dc from it okay that that means it does not allow to pass dc from it at the output we want here only dc and we know that the output of the diode contains ac plus dc okay hence when we use a capacitor parallel to use it then at this point we get ac plus dc the ac components are bypassed or filtered through it or removed from it and at this side only dc components are present hence we used capacitor filter here only a small part of ac components passes through the load resistor rl producing a small ripple voltage at the output this is the waveform of output voltage let's see once again the operation of half wave rectifier with the capacitor filter we know that the output of the rectifier is of the pulsating dc that means it contains some ac component as well as dc component we know that the capacitor allows the only ac through it hence the ac components are passes through this capacitor and at this side we get only the dc voltage or the dc component hence we used the capacitor as a filter here now let's see the next center tap full wave rectifier with capacitor filter we already know that the operation of the center tap full wave rectifier during each half cycle any one diode is followed by us and we get the output like this when the input ac voltage is applied during the positive half cycle the diode d1 is followed by us that means during positive half cycle diode d1 is followed by us and allows electric current whereas the diode d2 is reverse bias hence during negative half cycle during negative half cycle the diode d2 is followed by s and output appears across this side okay now as we know that the capacitor allows ac and blocks dc all the ac components are passes through this capacitor towards the ground and the dc 
is obtained at the load resistance RL. We get here the DC output. The AC component easily passes through the capacitor. Only a small part of AC component passes through the load resistance RL, producing a small ripple voltage at the output. Here, we never get the DC or the pure DC. Some ripples or some AC components are present in the output of this. Okay. Now, let's see the full wave bridge rectifier with capacitor filter. We already know the operation of the full wave bridge rectifier is that when the input AC voltage is applied during the positive half cycle, point A becomes positive, point B becomes negative. Hence, the diode D1 is D1 and D3, that means diode D1 and D3 is forward biased and allows electric current, while diode D2 and D4 is reverse biased and block the current. That means during the positive half cycle, the current flows from point A to point D1, then through RL, then through R3 to point B. Okay. I hope you remember this operation. Similarly, during the negative half cycle, diode D2 and D4 is forward biased, while D1 and D3 is reverse biased. Hence, current flows from this point B to D4, then from load RL to D2 to A, and then like this. I hope you all now remember these things. We know that capacitor allows AC and blocks DC. That means this capacitor allows AC. That means AC components are removed from this capacitor and we get the DC here. We know that the output of the rectifier that means at point D we get this like output. This is the output which contains AC plus DC component. Okay. But at the output of the rectifier or across the load we want only DC component AC component should be removed from it. For that purpose, we use capacitor because we know that from capacitor it allows AC and blocks DC. That means here we get AC plus DC. The AC components are bypassed through this capacitor. At this point, the DC components are only present. Hence, across the load, we get the DC components here. Only smart pa small part of the AC components passes through the load resistance RL producing a small ripple voltage at the output. These are the small ripples are present at the output. That means small AC components are present at the output of this circuit. Okay. I hope you all now understand the operation of rectifier with capacitor filter. Let's see here some other cap other filters that means the series inductor filter the inductor is connected in series we know that capacitor allows ac and blocks dc while inductor allows dc and blocks ac that means at the input of this inductor the ac components are remain at is as it is and only dc components can be passed we get this type of waveform. The next is LC combination filter. Here we get AC plus DC. We know that inductor passes only DC component. Hence at this point we get DC. Here a capacitor filter is used. Small amount of AC components are present in this DC. These AC components are bypassed through this capacitor and across the load we get the DC component hence we get the smoothen output and if we use the CLC filter then we get this type of waveform okay I hope you all now understand the operation of the rectifiers with the capacitor filter thank you